We've been talking about Mike from uh, Rethink the Dollar this past Saturday. And um, there's a video that he put up today entitled Rabbit Hole Goes Deeper AI, Nano, and Cyberspace. It's no longer sci fi. And this is from Rethink the Dollar. And uh, the video's not even eight, nine minutes long, eight minutes and 51 seconds. But anyway, I'm going to let you listen from uh, the five, five minute and 44 second of this video. If you notice, myself and others, we don't do no lo no super long videos. The only time you catch us doing a long video is when we out there on the highways and the byways. And sometimes the spirits on us to do a long video. But we hit certain key points in um, the prophetic realm of the scriptures. But I just want you to listen to this individual named Mike. Now we had a special guest out there this weekend. I'm not going to go into the details of the individual, but he made a statement. He said, he said, yeah, Mike, be listening to y'all. You know, whether, and I said, yeah, that makes sense, but whether he does or whether he doesn't, it, um, it's not important at this time, at this time, but he believes, you know, he goes by the whole born again Christian thing, but to truly be born again is to know that you're an Israelite and go by the, uh, the doctrine that we have been teaching. The one West is mainly number one on the list is uh, GMS. But anyway, let me let you listen. Then I'll close. The play. And of course, this goes into the biblical side of things where uh, one of my thoughts was that, you know, the Antichrist, you know, that we know all, how all that. Which there's no such thing as no Antichrist. That's not even biblical. It says in 1 John, the second chapter, it speaks about many Antichrists. And it says uh, in uh, 1 John, what is that? Uh, 1 John, the fourth chapter, it speaks about the spirit of Antichrist. It's not a, one guy, you know, Joe Antichrist. So you Christians got to get out of that nonsense. It's not one guy, Joe Antichrist. It's the spirit of Antichrist. Anybody that's against the true Messiah is an Antichrist. And Christ meaning Messiah. Anti-Messiah. That ends in Revelation. But basically, the demonic forces, Satan, all that realm, looking to actually control and to have bodies, physical bodies. And of course, this stuff is way far left, science fiction stuff, but the technology exists in accordance to the uh, interviews that I'm going to talk about and of course a lot of other things are touched in there but you know those are some things that came to my mind that is already ready ready to be rolled out and the jabs is just you know not even the first step because a good portion of what we probably have in our body already contains some form of nanotechnology because he's talking you heard what he said uh, the jab is just uh, not even the first step and I've been saying that that's uh, I believe I believe but we got to watch and see that um, the jab is an introduction to, to ultimately the uh, the thing that thing that thing that thing. Talking about it goes down to the one trillionth of an inch, one billionth of an inch type small to where current level technology do we have? But if you do take the jab, you're gonna take the chip because you're gonna be in that mentality. You know, because there's going to come a time where you're going to have to take jabs upon jabs upon jabs. And you're going to get used to it. You took it before. You took the two. You took the booster. What's the big deal? That's your mentality. And ultimately, I believe that it's going to lead to the actual karagma. It's a hospital. They can't find nothing. But yet the stuff... And the people that created it, and the machine learning algorithms or whatever they help create it, 
That's difficult. What's happening right now is the fulfillment of the last prophecy before the destruction, before the, the Lord come with the angels. And um, this the change of worlds, the change of kingdoms. Real talk. Goes a lot deeper. And if this has nothing to do with the economy or the, the you know the, the monetary scheme of things, but those are all first level issues. Deflation, inflation, our stuff, you know, that's just a setup. That's just a setup for something a lot worse and a lot deeper and a lot sinister, more sinister. And it has to do with machine learning, artificial intelligence. And that right there will what well, I was always one of my concerns that it would get to the point where it would no longer need man to function. And according to these interviews, it's already there. And they are probably doing some things right now behind the scenes that, um, yeah, it doesn't, it makes this whole COVID situation um, go a lot further and have more meaning because everything we're experiencing now is just on the surface. Really, it goes a lot deeper. But I'm going to take a quick minute. You know, it's first of the month. we got a lot of events coming up. It's, as I mentioned, you know, double down, do the best you can to do, to, you know, do a bit more than you probably would do as far as just, you know, securing a little bit more things in case stuff goes haywire. And I'm already seeing all types of craziness here in the city of Detroit, man. Like downtown Detroit. And they coming up, they coming out there like stormtroopers, man. You know, uh, Revelation 12 and 12. The devil shall come down to find you having great wrath because he knows that he had but it's short time let's listen let's let's see that again that's in detroit and mike is from detroit that's how these 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 stormtroopers are coming they coming with full force they coming to they coming to fuck your ass up you people keep thinking, and you, and you Israelite groups out there, you former one Westers, that can't get in your brain, in your simple-minded brain, that this is going to lead to Revelation 13, verse 16. You better get your act together. Stop being a clown before you get put down. Um, it's, it's all types of issues. The emotional levels of t tension is high. Just, you know, very interesting. Revelation 12 and 12 in full effect. Times, man. But I don't want to rant anymore. I want to just give you guys those two videos. Check the Discord or check the Telegram group. I'll put the links to those two pages down there. Listen to those, watch those, give me your feedback. What do you think? You know, I know a lot of people have already tuned in to that deep level type stuff. So, And we're going to be visiting this, this brother right here, Mike. To bring him fully to the other side because he's a so called born again, you know, a born again, a grape juice drinking Christian. And we got to bring him to the full thing. He's He's got to come full circle. He's got to know that he's an Israelite. Then he's got to know he got Edomite friends, good Edomite friends. He's got to cut them off because they're not going to make it on this trip, my man. You know, you look at this thing as a heat, like a racist thing. You got their right as a racist, racist thing, man. Everybody's for their race. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with loving your race. Them, them Edomites, some crackers that love their race. They look. They, they ain't nothing wrong with them, what they're doing. I tell them that. There ain't nothing wrong with you doing what you what you doing. King David did business with the other nations round about him, and was friends with certain of them nations for business purposes. But he stayed with his race, his Raza, gene, which is seed. The word genealogy means study of the fathers. Or if you want to go deep, it means study of the seed. What seed are you from? Well, keep me up to date. Put comments in the chat. Uh, put comments down below so people can find out what's going on. And I'm curious to hear your guys' thoughts. So he said he's curious to hear our thoughts. So that's a wake-up call. For you brothers to get on this guy's page and and get him to think, get him get him um what's the word uh get his mind right, like the movie Cool Hand Luke, we got to get your mind right, and his mind is not fully right. You, Mike, you gonna get your mind right when you become an Israelite. When you acknowledge the fact that you are Israelite, that's when you get your mind right. 
And yeah, just stay vigilant, stay prayerful, man. Continue to grind hard. And Because what we got here is fair to communicate. You got to watch the movie Cool Hand Luke. What we got here is fair to communicate. I do the best you can and definitely praise the Lord because he's in control regardless of what the enemy has to do. Well, you got to know the Lord's name. The Lord's name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. The Lord is a so-called black man with woolly hair. Big afro. And his son got a big afro. So those are those the, who's up in the heavens? So-called Negroes. The angels are Negroes. It's planned, so be best be safe. See you guys later. Peace. Peace. Jesus on my mind. Jesus on my mind.